If the uh, speed of the game seems to be influenced a bit, that's because of the settings I have to run this at for it to run smoothly. Um, I'm sure nobody will mind. Uh, this is a man, his name is Getsis, and uh, he's going to talk about Pokemon Liberation. Let's see if I can not hurt myself doing this voice. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemons are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Ah, so this version is truth and the other version is ideals, right? I think, yeah, truth and ideals. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Thank you for giving me that wonderful idea. Person I totally didn't plant in the crowd. Um, what were we doing? Okay, I'm just gonna go. You guys get the picture, right? Improvisation is the best part about doing a Pokemon Let's Play. Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. Oh, extremism. Yeah, po oh yeah. So everyone does like a, yeah, Pokemon, oh my god, uh, kind of voice for N, but let's give him more of a dick kind of voice, you know? Because like, he doesn't start off, like, he's, you know, he, he's he's a confused person uh, being used in all sorts of things. Um, I'll try not to spoil the plot because I kind of know the plot of this game, but some people might not. I, as I said, I've never really played this game myself. Um... Your Pokemon. Just now it was saying, slow down, you talk too fast. Oh, how did I do Charon? Uh, slow down, you talk too fast. What's this thing about Pokemon? Th what? Did you hear what this guy said? He just walks over here and starts mumbling to himself. Yes, they're talking. Who's talking? Oh, then you two can't hear it either. Uh, you stumble out of the Pokemon Center, buddy. You, you, seem, you seem like you have some problems. I'm not making fun of schizophrenia, but, you know, let's, let's make him schizophrenic. Mine, <laughs> our name is N. <laughs> let's have him be a hive mind. Oh, my God. Uh, my name is Cheron, and this is Rowan. Together, we are Cheroin. We are Cheroin. Dude, Cheron, don't rope me up with you. You're a fucking asshole. Uh, I'm a trainer, too. <laughs> we are a trainer. We are a trainer, and we're Pokemon. We are a collective. We work together. But we can't help but wondering. Are others like us really happy that way? Well, Cheruin, is it? <laughs> let us hear your po let us hear our voices again. <laughs> I'm just messing up all the pronouns, just having fun with this. Schoolgirl N. Oh, I guess that's what they have for just trainer is. All trainers are going to be schoolgirls in this coding because of that. Oh, shit. Uh. Um. Uh. Uh-oh. I, um, might have been doing some training, and I, uh, I might have fucked up. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, that was a crit? Um. Uh, so yeah, this is a hard mode run. Um, don't let the coma run fool you. There is still permadeath. It just, uh, is not in the same light. For all intents and purposes of the run, you have permadeath. Even though they will come back if you beat the game, but if you wipe, you still wipe. Shit. Alright, um. Oh my god, Supersonic. No! Stop! Oh, two crits in a row. Oh my god. So I found out that corn is naughty natured, which means lower special defense, which sucks for this situation, but higher physical attack. What the hell? I haven't even used focus energy. That's three crits in a row. Corn, you are legendary. You dodged all of those. I I was I was worried, but corn is just a beast. Wow. Oh my god, I'm severely surprised. Corn has dodged every single one of these attacks and landed three crits in a row. Fuck your flying type. Corn. Way to go, Corn. Oh my god. Well, now it's a run. Now, now it's a run. Okay, that was that was cool. <laughs> so I'm I'm not going to stop the progression to 
to do the voices for people and everything. But if I have nothing I'm saying, I will do the voices. Um, I really like doing voice acting. Uh, for those who are new to the to the network, I actually did voice acting in a few machinima uh, in my younger days. Uh, I have a playlist called Me and Machinima on my main channel. Nope, nope, sorry. Um, and on that playlist, I have a few videos that I did with some friends. And also, I got in and was able to do voice acting for Mike WB and the Arbiter, uh, or Arbiter 616 or something. Um, whoa. And I was in one of the most recent movie machinimas, like long 40 minute ones. Uh, and that was uh, Bungie versus 343 or something. Oh, I get to get a phone call about trainers and stuff. Rowan, it's your mom. How are things? Mom, it, like, first off, there's color ID. And second off, I can see your face. But, oh, mom, you could have just. Mm. Okay. Oh, running shoes. I take it all back. Thank you so much for visiting, Mom. Oh my god, I love you, Mom. Okay, bye. With I love I love how it does the whole liberation thing. Then it does the whole like don't worry, you're still the good guy. We're not going to make you go on an existential crisis. All right. So, please let there be an eligible Pokémon here. I have a one fourth chance with Ethan bleh, bleh, with each encounter of it being an eligible Pokémon. Max either, okay. Um, I have a one fourth chance of this being eligible. Please, God damn it! Is it still gonna be Pidgeys? Is that Pokemon like swapped in the? Ugh. So these are just Pidgeys now. Ugh, God damn it! So many flying types. I think all the no, the trainers won't uh, bud you. I don't think you're on my list. It'd be ridiculous if you were on my list. Yeah, you are definitely not on my list. But sadly, I think that's... So my list, for those of you who may have forgotten, is only Pokemon that can learn Flamethrower. And yes, Machamp can learn Flamethrower. Um, but uh, it looks like I'm not getting an encounter here. 